Ever wondered how the size of a ship decides where it can go, or what it can carry? Today, we dive into the fascinating world of two major vessel classes, Panamax and Cape Size. From tight canal squeezes to ocean-crossing giants, these ships shape global trade like you've never imagined. Panamax vessels are specially designed to pass through the Panama Canal. Before the canal's expansion in 2016, ships had strict limitations. Length, 294 meters. Beam, width, 32.3 meters. Draft, 12.04 meters. These ships are optimized for cargo routes linking the Atlantic and Pacific. You'll often see them carrying containers, grain, coal, and oil. Why are they important? Because they connect major global ports without having to go around South America. Cape size vessels are too large to pass through the Panama or Suez Canal. So where do they go? Around the Cape of Good Hope, Africa, or Cape Horn, South America. Hence the name. Length, up to 330 meters. Beam, 4550 meters. Draft, over 17 meters. These ships mainly haul iron ore and coal in bulk, essential for industries like steel and power generation. Panamax, size, medium, route access, Panama Canal, cargo, mixed, container, bulk. Draft is 12M ports, more accessible. Cape size, size, very large, route access, open ocean routes, cargo, mainly dry bulk, draft, 17M plus ports, limited deep port. Panamax is versatile and economical. Cape size offers scale and efficiency, but at the cost of route flexibility. Panamax ships are common in intercontinental trade. Cape size ships dominate long haul bulk commodity shipping, especially from Brazil and Australia to China. Size isn't just about being big, it's about being fit for purpose. Whether you're navigating tight canals or braving open oceans, each ship has a unique role in the global economy. Which one impresses you more? the adaptable Panamax or the powerhouse cape size? Let us know in the comments.